Yes, so it has happened again. Oh, <laughs> the Nobel government to go after Mr. Macaroni, Taoma, Sabinus, Phony Bros, Brashagi, Kuta Biola, Mark Angel, Brain Jota, Uliagba, Lassisi, Elenu, Maraji, Isbau, and other skit makers over task payments. Hmm. The Federal Inland Revenue Service, FIROS, has announced plans to ensure skit makers, influencers, and digital content creators in Nigeria pay taxes. Daily Trust reports that the special advisor on media to the chairman of the FIROS, Dari Ade Kombi, made this known to newsmen, revealing that social media content creators and influencers constitute a major block of tax evaders. According to Ade Kombi, FIROS would first set up a meeting and discuss with the entertainers why they should voluntarily pay taxes, but if they are pay fees, they will move into enforcement. These are his words. Skit makers, influencers, and other content creators who are making money using digital platform needs to be paying taxes. There is a law in Nigeria that requires everyone who earns income to pay tax. They earn dollars. Tax is a civic obligation. Civil servants are paying, so they must pay tax. Now, the CAC Registrar General and the FIROS Chairman recently discussed how they can work together in bringing them into the tax net. The challenge is how to track them, but we are looking into it, as they can be said. He stressed that the FIROS would meet with content creators and influencers and make them see why they should voluntarily pay tax. But if our friendly approach is taken for granted, then we will go for enforcement, he added. Speaking for that, they can be urged that social media content creators and influencers pay taxes in developed countries. The social media companies also pay taxes. So those who use the platform to make money should also pay taxes to the government. If Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and other social media platforms are paying taxes to the government, why should people using their platform to create content and make money not pay? By the time a committee is set up to look into it, a broad spectrum of activities will be covered. There is a way the government monitors everything in other clients. One of the cardinal goals of the current FIROS chairman is to leverage technology and data. When you have this, revenue will be predictable and it will be easy for the government to plan, he said. <laughs> now it is not the content creators that the Tinubu government want to go after. Well, it is well. Please like this video, share and also share your thoughts on the comment section. Thank you.